9 10 a.m. in the morning waiting for Wallow Ricky and I'm not sure if someone else is coming but we are out here about to do some more mileage I think the night part now A Wallow, uh, Navy or University? Who do you run for at the moment? <laughs> UAA. UAA, what is that? University of, uh, University of Alaska Anchorage. All right, we're training for uh, XE. Ricky, he's uh, about to go to Colorado. Uh, well, Colorado. Western State, Colorado. Western State, Colorado. What's the plan for today? Uh, how many miles? Uh, I don't know, Rick. Just, how many? Uh, just a cool 15. 15, 15 like miles. <laughs> easy, easy. No. Road to nationals, bro. Yeah, road to nationals. No, um, they're they're about to do six miles. I'm just gonna do an hour, easy. All right, let's go. All right, so six miles. I said an hour. That was fake news, though. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, there's a guy on the at, uh, on the Western State team. <laughs> <clears throat> about to go eat bagel corner. The bagel corner, one of the staples of the Hartnell fam diet. <laughs> what, what's the typical thing that we get? Oh, uh, you, you guys know, get? Uh, Santa Fe on a French roll, oh. or maybe. Uh, what does that have? Santa Fe on a French roll comes with uh, chicken, freaking some avocado for that protein. And it comes on a French roll, obviously, that's the move. There you now, go. But they also have breakfast burritos that are hella cool. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. What are you gonna get? Uh, uh, I don't know, Santa Fe or the, the Godfather? The Godfather? Yeah. Wild Celeste uh, walking through the campus of Hartnell, um, home of the Panthers. Uh, she'll be a feature UAA student. Hopefully, uh, she'll be the one that, that will take her car and we'll be driving her car. Am I right? Alright, yeah. Like, so I want you guys uh, to show, to tell us what this is basically what you have in so here. So this is a, 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 an idea that I've had for a while and this is now our Nationals Wall of Fame. Um, it felt like given that we're just little of heart now, uh, that over the years we've actually done a, an amazing job of finding homes for our student athletes where they can not only just continue their education and their athletic career, but they're getting an opportunity to reach the highest level of, of competition. So we've got a little section of those that are, have, have reached our mountaintop, our state champions. Since I've been head coach, we've had other state champions, but these are the ones that, as me being the head of the program, have witnessed um, a special little spot for Kristen Serratos because he's taken his running career and he actually, it's his, his career. He gets paid to do this, uh, which is a, rare, a rarity in our sport. And then all these are athletes those? are the ones that have clean. represented their institution at a national championship, whether it's NAI, Division One, or Division Two, indoor, outdoor. Uh, and over these last 12 years, we managed to see quite a few athletes do that. And these are the trophies and the All-Americans? And All-American certificates. So again, cross-country to be in that top 14 is a very challenging uh, accomplishment. So I wanted to create a special place for them here on the wall. Hey, does this look like it's like a water With their All-American certificates. Uh, going back to my first year in 06, and then, uh, as many of our trophies that we can put on there from the regional championships, uh, as well as our conference uh, glass trophies as well for track and field and cross country. I could, I, could, I, could, I could work all over the area. I'll take care of you. Ten. Oh, yes. I do big projects, small projects, whatever you need done. I'll take care of you. Yes. Tomorrow morning, I'll be there at 7 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> yes, I could be there at that time. Yeah. So that's today's vlog. I went for a morning run with Ricky and Wallow. After that, we went to Bagel Corner. That's where the cool kids go eat. And then after that, we went to go visit our junior college coach, Coach C. He showed you guys around his office and he talked about all the trophies and pictures he has on the wall. 
after that, and by the way, he's a legend. He's the best coach in Salinas in the Monterey area, hands down. He's the best. And after that, went home, got a call, let's go work. And I was like, all right, let's go work. And so I forgot my gloves actually. So throughout that whole entire day, I had to like grab grass, cut stuff and shovel stuff. And my hands are pretty, you know, they're beat up. And well, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. I'm just gonna go back home right now. While well, I'm already parked, I'm gonna go eat, take a shower, and relax, watch some TV. Peace.